In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to quickly browse to symbols. And by symbols, I mean things like method names. So let's open a class. I'm going to hit Command P, which we went over in the last lesson. And let's open up the file class that comes with this framework. So I will type file. Now that's open. And if I hit Command R, once again, we get another one of these palettes. But now this one is for browsing the symbols in our project. Now, if you're thinking, oh, another keyboard shortcut I have to remember, well, you can also use Command P, which is the go to anything. But if you begin with an at sign, that's now going to switch over to the method names. So you have those two choices, Command P, at, and then the name of your method, make directory. Notice it instantly switches there. Or Command R, and the only difference is it automatically applies that at symbol for you. So Command R, now I have a list of all of my methods. And this is dynamic. So if I were to delete this all, class, HTML, something like that, public function, maybe static function, link. Now if I hit Command R, we have that option. So we could duplicate this a couple times, maybe for an image class. We'll do image and items. So now Command R, and we have all of those items. So once again, fuzzy searching is available here. So if I'm at the top and this is a big file and I think, hey, I need to edit that items method, Command R, items, and I'm instantly there, and I can continue on. Now, a common misconception is that you can only use that for things like classes, but that's not the case. We can also use it in our style sheets. So how would I go about editing a style sheet? Well, once again, I could bring back the sidebar with Command KB, and I could go into my public directory right here, open up CSS, and I don't have one in this case, so let's create one style.css, and I'm just going to paste in some sample code here. This is from normalize.css, which I highly recommend. Now, a better way to access that file is, again, keep the sidebar closed, Command P to bring up go to anything, and if you can't think of what the name of the style sheet is, well, just search for the extension, and now that's going to bring up all files that have .css in them. And then I can see, oh yeah, style.css is the one. I hit enter, and I'm immediately there. So now we can view the symbols for the style sheet with Command R. And now you'll notice that it's organized quite well. So let's say I want to edit my buttons. Well, Command R, we're going to edit buttons. And there we are. Now we're instantly there. Or maybe I need to edit the field set. Command R, field set, we're there. And isn't that crazy fast? Now I'm going to show you something even faster that a lot of people don't know. Let's say that you know you want to edit the field set but you're not on style.css. Well, how would you do it? Well, so far in our learning, you would know, okay, go to command P, style.css, command R, field set, and you're there. But there's a faster way. You can merge those. So I can type command P, style.css, and then I can immediately add the at symbol, which now will show all of the symbols associated with that file. So you get where I'm going here. When I want to edit the field set in style.css, I hit Command P, type a couple letters of style, and keep in mind that even though we have matched six or seven files, if I hit the at symbol, that is going to then be applied to the topmost match, in this case, style.css. So once again, style, and then I'm going to hit field set, and I'm doing all of that on a single line, and I'm instantly to the method that I need. So isn't that crazy cool? But let's say you're editing your HTML and you realize, oh, I need to add a background color to the body. Well, Command P, Style, Body, and then I'm instantly there. And here you can add your background color. Once again, fuzzy searching. Always remember fuzzy searching. So if I type BGC, well, that's going to match background color. But I could do anything that will make you remember it. And that does it. So I will right-click, Close Others, and I will see you in the next video.